Hey, it's Dr. Watson, and in this video, we're going to explain the dotted quarter eighth rhythm. This rhythm is one of the most misunderstood rhythms by uh, instrumental students I've taught over the years. Um, but I think if we break it down um, from um, what we know about quarters and eighth notes, we can then make the transition to dotted quarters and eighth notes uh, and play them more securely and confidently. So let's take a look at some music I have here on the board. I have this measure that has quarter, eighth, eighth, half. So the counts would be one, two, and three, four, right? And it would sound like, if we could, we could clap it or snap it, one, two, and three, four, right? Where we could play it, right? But I'm going to, um, before we get to the dotted quarter, just show you what would happen if I tied these two notes together. Right. It would make them sound as one note. So beat one would get tied into the beginning of beat two, right? And then the end of beat two, the second half of beat two, would be on its own. Okay, so that would be ta i ti ta ta i ti ta or one, two, and three. So it turns out this now becomes, instead of one beat and a half a beat, it becomes one and a half beats, and then this is a half beat all by itself. All right, so let me play that for you. Right, counting it or snapping, it'd be one, two, and three, four, right? One, two, and three, four. And now it sounds like this. Well, that's the sound of one and a half beats of music, and that's exactly what a dotted quarter note is. It's one and a half beats of music. Let me draw that over here. So I'm gonna take what you just heard me play here, and I'm gonna put it in the next measure, but I'm gonna draw it now as a dotted quarter note, which is one and a half beats right here. Right? One and a half beats is what a dotted quarter note is. Okay. There's my dotted quarter note, one and a half beats. Now this single eighth note I'm gonna put here, with a flag, that's what eighth notes normally look like when they're all by themselves, they have a flag like that. So that is the same as that note there. So this is one, and then the dot is actually two, and then this single eighth note is the and, right? Because a dot adds half the value of the note it's attached to. It's attached to a quarter note, which is one beat. Half the value of one beat is a half a beat, right? So the dot is like this. It's half the value of the note it's attached to. And then I'll put my half note over here. Okay, and that's beat three and beat four. So this is what a dotted quarter note eighth sounds like. One, two, and three. In fact, maybe I'll go back over here and even put the and in. Even though nothing happens on the and here, and nothing happens on the and here, it might be nice to say one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. And let's try that. I'm going to play it here. First as quarter, eighth, eighth, half, with the two tied together, and then as a dotted quarter. So this is, a dotted quarter note is the same as a quarter tied to an eighth note. Now these are all the same pitch, right? They're all in that second line of the staff. I'm gonna take you to a new um, series of notes. It's the same rhythm, it's quarter, eighth, eighth, half. So we can still count it like this, one, two, and three, four. And if I want to put the and in there, I can do one and two and three, four. And I'm going to tie this together, right? Oh, actually, let's do it first without the tie. Okay, so this one is one, two, and three, four, right? But if I do put the tie in, now there's not going to be a note on the downbeat of two. It'd be one, two, and three, four. Now let me play that. Right, one, two, and three. So I, the first time I'm gonna tongue on the, the, the beginning of beat one, and I'm not gonna tongue again until the end of two. And let me show you what that would look like, right? This quarter note tied to an eighth note becomes a dotted quarter note. Right? A dotted quarter note is one and a half beats long. Okay, dotted quarter note, one and a half beats long. And then this single eighth note right here becomes a single eighth note with a flag. 
and then the half mil we'll just put here, right? So the counts are one, two, and, two, and, three, four. And if we want to put in the and, you could do one, and, two, and, three, four. Okay, so let me play it both ways. It's going to sound the same, but I'll play it written as a quarter tied to an eighth, and I'll play it as a dotted quarter, which is the same exact rhythm. Ready? Here I go. <laughs> I have one last thing, because both of these examples where the dotted quarter note happened at the beginning of the measure, that counts for one and two, right? It's all of beat one, and it's half of beat two. And then we, on the end of beat two, we play the, the eighth note. So one and a half beats, right, was all of beat one, half of beat two. Let's try a, a new uh, example over here where the dotted quarter note doesn't happen until the third beat, right? So beat one is a quarter, beat two is a quarter. On beat three, all of beat three, we're going to play this, and then even half of beat four, right? The dot is the other, uh, is the half of beat four, and then that, that would be our and of beat four. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three for that dotted half note, and then four is the rest. Okay, so what we're doing is we're putting the dotted quarter note in the middle of the measure rather than at the beginning of the measure. It's still going to be one and a half beats. Think about what your foot does when it taps a beat. It goes down, up. So if I wanted to put, you know, what my foot's doing for this quarter note, it's going down, up. That's one beat. Ta. And if I think of what is my foot doing for this quarter note, down, up. That's what a beat is. Da, da. But for this dotted half note, we said it's a beat and a half, it's a beat and a half, right? Half of beat four. And then the other half of beat four would be this single eighth note, which is only a half a beat, right? An eighth note is only half a beat. So we'd have one and two and three and four and one, two, three, right? This would be three beats, one, two, three beats. And then we have one beat of rest, right, at the end. So let's play, what does a dotted quarter note sound like when it occurs in the middle of the measure on beat three? Rest. Okay, one thing I didn't put in any of these examples, I probably should have, is that we're in 4-4 four, four time, right? There's four beats in a measure here, there's four beats in a measure here, there's four beats in a measure here. Um, so here we have one, and two, and three, and four, and one. All right, last uh, thing I'll leave you with about dotted quarter eighth rhythms, right? This is, this is what we've been talking about. This whole video is about the dotted quarter followed by an eighth rhythm, which we're going to see in a lot of songs that we're, that we're working on. So the last thing I'll leave you with about the dotted quarter eighth rhythm you know, sort of ties into what we were talking about, about what does your foot do, right? When it taps a beat, it goes down, up. That's only one beat. The next beat, down, up. This down is the dot, right? The dot adds half the value of the note it's attached to. So the dot is what makes the quarter a half a beat longer. So maybe one of the most confusing things for my students when talking about dotted quarter eighth rhythms is what we would say here is one and two and. Let me see if I can make that better. One and two and. Okay, so when students say the number two, they think they've said two beats of music. When they say one and two, but have they really said two full beats of music? No, they've only said one and, that's one beat, Two is only half of the second beat. They need to do the and for it to be a full second beat. So when we say one and two, we've really only said one and a half beats, and that's what a dotted quarter note is, right? A dotted quarter note is one and a half beats. And then this single eighth note is the other half of beat two. It's a half a beat. This is one and a half beats. This is a half a beat. One and two and. Let me play it on a note. Right. As you think one and two and, this is why I'm playing, right, that little short second half of beat two. So, dotted quarter notes, a couple ways to think about. Dotted quarter notes are one and a half beats, and we count them in the beginning of the measure like one and two and, right, the eighth note is on and, one and two and, ta, beat, ta, right, or when they're on the third beat, it's one, two, 
three and four and, right? Okay, so those are what uh, dotted quarter eighth rhythms, um, how you count it, how they sound. Uh, go practice some songs with dotted quarter eighth rhythms and hopefully uh, you'll be able to play them accurately now that you understand this. Thank you.